Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Mr. 200M. Um, it's a Saturday morning, evening, night, afternoon, whenever I finish editing this. But I hope you guys are well. Currently now, it's actually Friday, 23.43. I've been setting up this set for the last like, four hours just because, honestly, guys, YouTube, a little bit off topic. YouTube, yeah, it's fun. And it's fun and games until you have a small space because your parents kicked you out of the room when you came back from uni, from your room, and now you're here. Guys, I have dry lips and a dry face. Why? Because this is Face the News. We're here to bring you the news while I do my face uh, effectively that's why it's dry I've washed my face a couple times but today we're kind of gonna go and cruise through some amazing topics um, stuff that I've kind of like been interested in like this week honestly without further ado mr. 200 ma run that intro boom um, Hey, come on, we're back again. It's Mr. 200 meters, aka Josiah Hyacinth, or Josiah Hyacinth, aka Mr. 200 meters. Yeah, that's the way the parents did it. Hope you guys are well. Um, yeah, we're back again. Honestly, this week um, has been a crazy week. Graduation week, so congratulations to millions of people that are just graduating this week. Um, honestly, to all my black brothers and sisters that are graduating, honestly, well done. Uh, big ups to all of you, man. You guys are doing amazing, and it's so inspiring to see. So, guys, honestly, education seems long, but when you get to the end of something, it's, it's such a beautiful thing, honestly. Anyways, this, this week's been amazingly busy. There's been a lot of social news and a lot of um, media news as well. Like, there's been there's been a crazy amount of stuff okay so before we go into the to the news obviously we're gonna do what we do obviously this is my face uh, routine I'm actually not gonna go to sleep yet so that's why I'm doing the face stuff right now um, I slept the whole day kind of chilled the whole day had a busy week working it's been great my face is dry sweet guys honestly I've, I've, I've learned so many interesting facts this week for example uh, and obviously this is gonna be an interesting fact of the week boom you know tag apparently stands for touch and go you know, you touch the friend and run. You know what I'm saying? You know that game of tag? Yeah, that's apparently tag and go. Like, there's so many, like, things that are acronyms that we don't realize. Like, there's other ones I just can't remember the top of my head. I'm saying right now I'm tired. And we've had, like, crap, we've had some crazy stuff. We're gonna get into it, we're gonna get into it, we're gonna get into it. But anyways, before we get into all the news and stuff, today, guys, I'm using a few products actually uh, so today this week I'm actually gonna try the clay mask it's by beauty formulas not too expensive I think it's like 699 I think hopefully need to double check uh, but yeah so I showed this in the last week's one but today I'm gonna try it because honestly my skin's not doesn't feel too dry my, my skin's quite oily um, this week and this obviously absorbs excess oils and deeply cleanses the skin and that's what we need a deep cleanse you know what I'm saying obviously <sighs> cleansing is important in it I was gonna say something so rude but Anyways, just make sure you're using your sponge when you buff, if you buff. Apply to clean dry skin, apply to the face and neck, avoiding the eye lip area. Allow to dry for 10 to 15 minutes, then rinse through thoroughly with clean and warm water. Pat the skin dry. So no, 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 no. We're going to do all that today, obviously. We're going to do all that. So first of all, guys, I'm just going to quickly go uh, wet my face again, you know what I'm saying, and then dry it. Okay, cool. I'll be right back. Yeah, so my face is wet right now, guys. Um, so I'm just gonna let this kind of air dry. Um, obviously, don't mix up water and technology if you decide to do face the news on your channel. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the other side of things. This is my hand towel. Uh, I've got another one for my face, but I might still use this one for my face because you know I be lazy like that. You know what I'm saying? So all the way over there. Social media has been kind of blowing up uh, for many reasons. Um, honestly, absolutely many reasons. Like, there's been a lot happening um, from, oh, guys, from Drake. Uh, ITV's plot twist continues. So, a development from next from last week. So, we all heard about the scandal about, yeah, everything's fake, everything's fake. And um, Samira actually left the villa. Now, everybody's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's fake it. But but there's still people watching it, evidently, right? Because it's an interesting show. I mean, if you don't have anything to do with your, yourself at nine o'clock or ten o'clock, whenever it comes on, I'm still not watching it. Yeah, just go onto ITV and do that. But yeah, we, we we actually found that this week we actually had Samira meeting up with 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 a guy, and you know they're seen hugging and running out and hugging um, and all that stuff. Yeah, they were seen to be to be shooting the reshooting the scene multiple times before coming out of the airport um, and actually jumping and hugging and kissing this guy. And she evidently said herself that she got it wrong. Um, so that was one thing how do you guys feel about this is it annoy you I mean because I don't really care but I mean this is stuff that people are actually interested in 
yeah and obviously uh, a later development literally i think like yesterday or today i think georgia or whoever i don't know who's left the villa I, I i don't listen guys i don't care about these names um but somebody i'm bringing you my news right okay if you care um but yeah so she talked about yeah 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 you know the kiss was multiple that there was multiple kisses m multiple angles of kisses or so i'm putting the thing up on the screen um but yeah it's just to really show you that what is in front of you isn't what is really in front of you it's not how it played out and kind of on that half um to kind of go into into that a bit more deeply we have we have like the oh, i can't multitask honestly so to kind of go into that deeply we have a lot of stuff um, regarding medicine so we found out like a lot of these medicines um are, are pretty much um they're selling you the same thing with different packaging oh my god i didn't know i mean i knew i i, I definitely knew so like, when my dad says go buy medicine i'm not gonna look for the expensive ones because honestly sometimes it's the same thing like, these are things we know from nigeria do you know what i'm saying like, these might have been china from time you get me so basically there's a guy uh, on the good morning or this uh, this morning he's talking about basically showing an active ingredient same active ingredient with the same serial code but two different advertising um two different packets sorry guys i'm looking at my phone while i'm doing this yeah yeah like the, the packet so for example um let me give you an example um purities you have purities and then you have tesco value uh cetrazine hydrochloride which is hay fever tablets now you're probably gonna want to buy the purities for example because um evidently it looks better like the advertising is like oh my god yeah you know buy this one it's gonna change your life it works five times as quick and effectively it may not be that different because the serial code may be the same in the back so it's sort of like highlighting kind of like what i've been talking about about how this media right now like the world like how much do we actually kind of know how much do we really know like i genuinely believe that there's a cure for hiv but let me not say too much before someone comes and kidnaps me god forbid yeah like honestly there's so much that is hidden from us because people control the media people control there's powerful people that control what we consume, what we eat, what we drink, you know, what we think. My FBI agent's probably having a ball of a time right now. Yeah, thinking, yeah, this one, yeah, not gonna give him his passport. God forbid I'm gonna get that. It's just crazy, like, right now the world is just, it just feels like it's in shambles right now, guys. Honestly, like, make sure you lip your lips because your lips are gonna get dry after you wash your face. I can't lie to you. Recommendations, I'm talking Carmex or Vaseline. Get me. Boom. There's so much that's kind of sold to you, man, and it's 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 scary. It's actually it's actually scary. Sorry, guys, my mind like multitasking is is amazingly difficult. Um, they say men can't multitask. I can while skateboarding, but this one applying and and focusing on notes whilst talking and trying to actually give you real good stuff. It's very hard. But um, yeah. Interesting fact. I wore this jumper because I had a feeling these are gonna match. So if I close my eyes, I can disappear. Look. No? Okay. Okay. But yeah, we, we there's so many things that are sold to us and effectively these 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 pharmaceutical companies are selling you this idea, this false um this false product. They're, they're taking they're charging two, three, four pound extra for the same product that's exactly the same. I think there's a I think this is called market segmentation when when you, you you're basically buying the same thing for like the same thing but it's just in different products. Um effectively how many things in this world are, are we getting charged extra for they're taking your money they're taking your tax they they, they, they they're cheating you right i was just here watching it yeah i'm just here buying my tablets yeah you know what i'm not gonna buy that one i'm gonna buy pyrotase because pyrotase is better it's they're selling you a placebo they're selling you a, and it's amazing that you can sell placebo i'm just waiting for the time they start taxing me on my oxygen which they're probably already doing without me even knowing that they're probably doing that honestly yeah can't wait for for trump to say yeah mexicans have to pay air tax oxygen tax yeah thanks trump yeah amazing on the topic of trump we're gonna go into the next topic um trump you're a fool um yes uh but um like i said free speech is important because effectively i need to hear stupidity to know that this makes sense um evidently trump's visit actually brought the biggest police operation since the uk riots just to just to kind of put into context the magnitude of um his effect in the uk so there was a lot of people marching there was a lot of actually there wasn't too much violence but i would say more um verbal violence to people um i watched a video of a guy um one of these youtubers interviewing people and people at the trump rallies were just getting just nasty and just chatting rubbish but yeah like what did he do in the uk um, i haven't really cared to really look into because like i said he's not really necessary to me which but at the same time I, f I feel like we need to do i believe that we need to be more aware and and me myself i need to be i think yeah 
Next week, I'll, I'll, I'll do better. I'll, 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 I'll do better. Okay, cool. In other news, we also hear that India has approved the death penalty for rape girls um, under 12. So there was, a, there was the whole situation of the girls who got raped. And, and India is one of the few countries that have approved the death penalty for rape. Now, I don't really believe in the death penalty just because um, it doesn't really solve anything. Um, it gets rid of the person and the perpetrators. Now, there's lots of psychology and sociology behind killing people in search of retribution. It works for some people, but I don't believe... This is incredibly tight on my face. It doesn't. It works. It works for some people, but it doesn't. It doesn't work for a, a lot of people. I, I, I don't believe so. I don't believe, you know, an eye for an eye really works. I mean, but that's just me. So if that works for you, it, it's incredible. But one thing I will applaud is action. Wow, my lips are so dry, guys. Honestly, one thing I will applaud is 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 is, is direct action to to that, that the government is showing to combat a real issue, like a real, 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 real issue. Like in India, like in India, rape is the fourth most common crime like in for women. So to be able to see some direct action, if not to, I, I don't believe in the death penalty, but it's a deterrent. Um, if people are really scared to lose, their, if they value their life, like it's 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 it's, it's incredibly, it's, it's scary that we have to inflict this, we have to threaten death to somebody. Um, for them not to do something that is to, for them to realize that doing something has harsh repercussions like rape is is is, dis is absolutely disgusting absolutely disgusting and it doesn't make sense uh, i mean there's there's i mean there's psychological things as to why people rape people and and people that try to do there's justifications and there's 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 people who think that those things are okay and there's people who write about how these people might view these things as okay um but i believe we should focus more on society and teaching men not to rape women than than, than educating women or not what to wear um, because I think the focus and the focus is lost and um, by the same time I do believe in a world I, I wouldn't say police what people wear but in a world where people are like this women out of love as, and this is me be careful where you place yourself and be mindful be mindful of your surroundings because in this world like we just know that if I was to say guys don't rape girls I mean it's just not enough like it's just not enough we don't know people's intentions but what we can be accountable for is a small percentage of ourselves so if you know that there's a there's like if i'm if i'm going to take a macbook into a, a place of a high crime rate and then i'll be surprised when i, I get attacked and, and robbed i mean i can't be that surprised i should have been aware of my surroundings i'm not saying that that's just as simple as it is of course not please don't get me wrong but i'm saying uh, just be mindful that the world we live in unfortunately isn't so crystal clear I mean, it isn't so easy and simple and you shouldn't have to get the blame but i would say like i said be responsible for yourself and just be mindful if you want to do it then please by all means wear whatever you want to wear please be free be liberal um but i just know that this world is just a scene our place so just please be mindful just be careful of where you place yourself and just i just 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 know that that's that's what i'm saying if i said anything wrong and offended anyone i honestly apologize um i don't believe in blaming th those people as well i don't people they believe in the, the people that you got raped i don't believe in that um but yeah, just be mindful of the world we're in. It's actually important. I don't think people say that enough. Just be mindful of the world we are in. It's true. It's a fact. Wow. Tweet of the week. Kind of going into to, to Twitter. There's been a lot of action on Twitter. Um, obviously, Twitter is a hot place. This week, honestly, Twitter has been very calm this week. Not, not even mad. It's honestly just been graduation. Like it's, just been, it's been quite joyous on Twitter this week. Like I've literally, I've not been there too much, but it's just been so calm. It's been so, 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 so calm. The tweet of the week, I was scrolling to the, um, and I saw a tweet. How can I take you serious if you're not chatting to at least five guys at once? No one even wants you. Why should I? <laughs> so I actually screenshot this on my friend's page and <laughs> she put lol wait is it by force to be chatting to someone let alone five people some people just CBA some of us are just existing and trying to make money um, what do you guys think about like chatting to like do you believe that when you're chatting to somebody they should cut off all the other people -ta 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 -ta. what do you guys think I believe like if I'm chatting to you I'll be honest with you if I'm chatting to you I'm not even gonna ask you questions I don't want answers for because honestly as a man ah, my pride is gonna burn me I don't even want to know these answers if there's something I can't control I'm gonna control what I can control if I'm if I want if I want you and I and I really want you and I'm serious I'll make sure that me and you are good so that your focus it just isn't anywhere you know what i'm saying be a relationship advice from josiah i know you guys missed that I used to drop videos about that before yeah probably gonna come back doing that but yeah i don't believe i should police a girl how many men she should be talking to that's her choice honestly but i'll be able to tell if she's serious with me or not let, uh, let, let's be honest there's a lot of unserious guys policing what girls should do don't chat to man but you're chatting to cindy to liqua to nikki uh tabitha all of them so what now what's going on
think about that yeah that was honestly i found it so funny like <laughs> but i think this is twitter like not, nothing's really serious um so so don't take that seriously but that's that's like my favorite tweet of this week like honestly my favorite tweet of this week another thing that kind of was on twitter a lot oh my god self-made self-made so we had the, the 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 stuff with if we look into this we have self-made millionaires and billionaires so this week self-made wow <laughs> there's this is so hard, I need to go wipe it off in a second. Now this week's self-made millionaires on the tour, it came up with like Kylie Jenner. Um, she's nearly on a billion, I think, or something like that. Let me check. So yeah, so it says, Kylie Jenner, self-made millionaire, young self-made. Yeah, cool. For, for Kylie Jenner's um, thing, it said, how Kylie Jenner leveraged her massive social media following to build a 900 million cosmetic fortune. That's what Forbes labeled as self-made. Being born into a family with money, and if I mean I'm proud of her effectively she 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 created stuff away from a family legacy in the sense that she's not doing exactly what they're all doing she created something yes great um, but um let's actually look into the definition of self-made so if we look into what self-made means self-made meaning on Google self-made oh my lips are so dry bloody hell. I'm about to go take this off self-made made by one's self having become successful or rich by one owns effort a self-made millionaire which is amazing i guess the two definitions kind of contradict now um two arguments came up on the tl self-made she's not really self-made because um yeah she's she's born into a, a rich uh, family so she, she has a lot so she, it's not really just self-made she was kind of almost co-produced like your name was already famous before you were born your your whole life is a contract sorry I don't care about you guys to really say something nice I don't but yeah at the same time so the definition of it talks about self-made being of your own effort which is which is true which is very factual um, but then if you actually look at another in business English definition we find that self-made is rich and successful as a result of your own work and not because of money from your family which means you my friend were made by yourself hello Kylie Jenner um kylie jenner you are um a kardashian uh yes so um yep yeah, doesn't run doesn't apply for you babe sorry talking about self-made individuals though what we are going to talk about is a real self-aid um, self-made woman actually in the same industry as kylie jenner it's kind of sad and this is this is a black woman um, she's actually worth one billion has surpassed Kylie's cosmetics um, It's Pat McGrath and um, she created a makeup line Pat McGrath labs um, which offers like amazing range um, and, and, and I think I, I don't really know makeup like that and stuff like that, but yeah, man, it looks good still she started off as a makeup artist and she's done makeup for Oprah Kendall Jenner herself actually Naomi Campbell and more I wouldn't even be surprised if Kendall was like, you know what? I like this. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna steal it. Thanks this take it this is mine thank you she was the mastermind behind armani's um line and uh, she always sells out and this is an amazing black woman and let me just pause the video real quick can i just just hail our black queens for just honestly being so amazing and talented and, and doing so much goodness in society like i score my timeline every day and i see such amazing black women just killing it killing the game i've seen so many creative women's doctors lawyers really honestly killing the game and it's unfortunate and that we live in a society where they take a back seat um, and I'm not even gonna say it too blatantly but it's pretty obvious this woman is worth more than Kylie Jenner but she hasn't had the same noise as Kylie Jenner and why, why is that that's actually a problem and I think that's a different discussion for a different day um, but what do you guys think about that why do you like I mean it's clearly evident that, that women doing black women who who had to graft she had two jobs doing so, so many she was self-made she wasn't born into riches and she created a, a a company that's worth over one billion she but she takes a back seat in the lamb like that she deserves to kylie jenner who is labeled as self-made by forbes magazine um yeah okay kind of a bit fake um, but these are kind of the stuff that kind of struck my eye and I feel like we're interesting to really talk about um, I, I, I don't want to always talk about too serious stuff and I don't want to talk about too jokey stuff um, like These are stuff that interests me. So surely if I'm around the same age as you and we have the same sort of mindset These are stuff that may interest you too. So um, let's go wipe the face um, Yeah, so this was the charcoal clay mask. I'm gonna wipe it. Um, let me go wet my face um, I'll be right back. Oh One sec didn't get all of it 
there we go um, I wash down with warm water um, and I'm just gonna kind of pat around there's actually just been so much oh yeah nearly forgot um, so kind of lastly kind of like on the social media side on the social media thing again you know what I'm saying? Drake is Jake has been for the culture in the UK um, he's literally he's basically British somebody give him a passport he's just been around doing some amazing stuff I think he was kind of became I mean everybody knows Drake but he became almost like British when he came out with um, I think his boy, boy better know yeah he, like he's been to section boys section tour and he's actually signed to the BBK label which is quite funny um, this was in 2016 um, but yeah uh, Drake recently um, just dropped a well he did two things he dropped a, obviously an amazing album scorpion how what do you guys think about it is it is it just dead because it's drake because i don't know i feel like drake now isn't actually good he's just decent he's just drake he's, he doesn't need to do anything you know what i'm saying it's so like he's so like the before the fans kill me sorry i said it um the beyonce of guys like artists is that cheeky let me think no i mean in the, in the sense of he can just post anything like he could just drop an album and everybody's like, oh my god, it's fire. Oh my god. That's probably all these fanboys, that's what they do. But he just dropped, he just um he just dropped something with Charlie Sloth actually. He dropped a fire in the booth with Charlie Sloth um about three days ago, um from today. Um from the time you're watching this four days ago. Um yeah, and he's one serious problem with that video, Charlie Sloth allowed the button, he pressed the button so many times. He was very, very special. Tonight feels like a real moment. A history defining moment. A moment people will talk about even when we're not here no more. Tonight I'm joined in the studio in the booth. But I kid you not. The biggest rapper on the planet. Man, I judge you um, but Drake dropped the fire in the beef and I thought it was quite cool and he also dropped a something on link up TV um, uh, What do you call it a fire in the beef as well basically I don't know what it's called but uh, honestly guys I I'm not like when I'm here like I'm always busy that like, <laughs> I'm saying But yeah, he dropped he dropped that um, and it was quite it was quite good honestly he did it He did like a he did like um, a drill flow Guys, I'm using this cream. It's called 50. It's liquid paraffin and white soft paraffin ointment. Honestly, it's the best thing for my skin. I have like very like dry skin, so it's it's been really good for my skin. Um, but yeah, so this is why I choose to cream my face and my body. Watch this shine and give me. Um, so yeah, he actually dropped this. Um, fire the booth. It was quite fire. It was decent, honestly. Um, someone that can't rap me. Um, yeah, I think anything would be decent at the same time. That's just two opinions, two, two views. Let me know how you guys feel about it in the description below. And all the topics I've talked about today, let me know how you feel in the description below. Um, about them, do you think Drake should be given his British passport? Do let me know. Do you think he should get it before me? Don't think so. Oh, wow, I should have my fire in the booth because I was fire rhyming. <laughs> Word, yeah, fresh. This is wet. Come on. Um, guys, it's, it's been... It's been facing the news. Yeah, we're gonna just round up now, guys. Thank you for watching this video. Oh, that's my skincare done. I'm just gonna finish off with some beard oil. Um, kind of, uh, basically, because I've just wet my face. I don't know, I feel good, I feel fresh. So I'm just gonna put some beard oil on. This is Jamaican black castor oil. Um, yeah, man, it's gonna go on the beard, you know what I mean? Yeah, anyone that's laughing in the DMs right now, I'm actually gonna block you. Do you know what I mean? I've got a beard, it's coming. Uh, in hindsight, if I really wanted, if I was really serious, I would be shaving, but I'm not. I wanna actually see how well I can grow hair in my face. And um, based off these products, actually, so I'm really patient. I wanna see, without shaving, I've never shaved in my life in, in, in this in this sense. Um, like, actually cut it all off. I've, I've had um, just like trims and stuff, but um, I've never necessarily just like cut it all off just to see if I'm gonna grow hair. Like. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't really care about that too much. Um, but yeah, effectively, I'm just gonna. This is it. Rounding up. Um, apply this to your beard. I kind of almost like scrub it in. I don't know if that really does anything, but it works for me. So uh, kill me. Yeah, thanks. Um, but just put it right there. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. Put it on the side. This actually is so effective. And the black charcoal face mask actually. Um, for me, my skin feels really like elastic today. Uh, feels good. Um, clay mask really dries your face boy like it says it absorbs excess oil and it's ironic because I put more oil on but yeah like 
I just need to like lotion my face after like it's essential but yeah like this week my face has been quite old it's been a hot it's been it's been sort of like a warm like couple months weeks yeah a couple weeks in the UK so for me my face has been quite oily and actually there was a change in weather this week um, that actually made my skin just kind of feel very oily sometimes and I was working a lot in hot places in hot spaces with like water and steam and in the kitchen so um yeah like that's why my face has felt oily so i had to be in control of my oils that's why i cream but yeah the guys that was the that was that was that was today's face the news if you guys enjoyed this please like comment and most importantly please subscribe share this with a friend um if you guys love this segment do let me know i really honestly love it because this is something different and it feels like i get to really keep up with the world and objectively get to keep up with the world because honestly i Editing, filming, and doing all the stuff I do as a creative away from just YouTube as well is so time consuming that sometimes you just lose yourself and you get sucked into this vacuum chamber. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of great. You know what I'm saying? Guys, I'm outie. I'll catch you guys later. Boom. Hey guys, hope you guys enjoy the video. I want to really do something for the female subscribers I have. Um, so, guys, if you guys love hair and good hair good good stuff like honestly um, if you want good hair and a good product and you want to get some stuff go check out my like my friend has a hair company called Sandra Amica wigs um, websites on the screen right now make sure you guys go check that out and if you want to purchase a wig um, use my code for a little cheeky surprise you get some money off so use mr. 200 M use my code guys and you get some discount off um, you know, I know that I have a large fe uh, female audience, so guys, honestly, this is for you guys. Thanks for supporting me. Um, guys, literally, if you want to get your hair, get your mama hair, get your granddaddy hair, your granddaddy, grandma, anybody hair, everybody, it's wig season, baby. How you, how you flex like that? How you make a nigga wanna get his check like that? How you popping on the net like that? How you make a nigga wanna get his bread like that? How you flex like that? How you make a nigga wanna get his check like that? How you popping on